Hey YouTube, Steelo Vaughn here. Today we're doing another custom knife overview. So this knife is a Jason Clark Custom, Clark Custom Knives. He is out of Florida and he has a background in law enforcement. He was full-time law enforcement officer before becoming a knife maker. This is his Mini Hunter model, which I'll show you in a second. Here is his email and website, and that is his maker's mark on the back there. So the knife came in this nice leather sheath, very soft on the inside, in good color, I like that. And here it is. That was a bad deployment. This is, like I said before, the Mini Hunter model, custom made to my exact specifications. Let me do a real quick size comparison. This is made with Chad Nichols Blackout Damascus. As you can see, it is a very thin and about a three inch blade, so it's a very small knife. And we'll do a thickness comparison. It's pretty nice and thin there. So, Chad Nichols Blackout Damascus, it's a frame lock flipper. It's got this uh, super cool hex milling on the titanium lock side and those uh, sort of ghost hexes in the background on the liner of the show scale. It's got this nice deep carry clip on it. He, uh, the tip stuck up higher and as it, I asked him to grind it down so it was a lower profile and he obliged very nicely. Super sweet looking blade steel on that. Just really beautiful. Drop point. His maker's mark shows up white against the black Damascus. I don't know if you can tell, but this, the blackout, it has more black on it than a lot of other Damascuses. I don't have another comparison to show you right now, but it looks really neat in person. It's got awesome patterning there. This is a polished zirconium bolster, which I've fingerprinted up for you nicely. And beautiful marbled carbon fiber there for the scale. <clears throat> you can see the uh, Damascus pattern goes all the way around the blade, which is sweet. It's got a backspacer, which is also the Damascus, with those stripes in it. And he is hand filed. Sorry about the bouncing there. That awesome grid pattern in there, which I think looks really cool. In my hand, this is a this is a nice small knife. It's got a forward jaw you can choke up a little bit, get a full grip on it. This is very much a gentleman's carry knife. The way I've been carrying it is actually in the little pouch here, which works very nicely. I really appreciate the details on this one like the polished ends of the screws to go through the from the scale to the lock bar or lock side this nice flush steel pivot and I just can't get over this this blade steel it's so beautiful let me wipe this off for you guys 
So I emailed Jason back and forth for about a month concerning the specs of this build. It took uh, just about a month from the finalized specs to uh, when I when I received the knife, which was actually a really good turnaround time. The uh, the materials on this he did not have to order in though. Nicely centered. These uh, these are what he had on hand, so it was very. I think it saved some time of him having to you know order it in. If you're going to do something, something wacky, I'm sure that would extend the, extend the wait time. So there is a custom Jason Clark mini hunter in Damascus. Beautiful, beautiful, gentlemanly sort of tactical folder, which seems sort of like an oxymoron to me, but very cool nonetheless let me know down in the comments if you want to see some more of these videos i uh, most likely will doing do some more of them whether you guys like it or not but i'd love to hear the feedback we'll catch you guys later bye